All right, so this is the, the wound that we have after removing an infected cyst on this gentleman's back. He's been doing wet to dry dressing changes until we got this wound back from over here, channel. So these are all the pieces for the wound back, which we'll show you how to do the wound back dressing changes here. This is the black foam that we're gonna insert into the wound. It's a little bit big, so we're gonna trim it. That's about right, so we're gonna just stuff in here. It's gonna be a little tender. part and then on top of that we put this adhesive here and it shows you the steps go remove number one you gotta make sure the skin is nice and dry so this thing sticks and do number remove number two Cut a little opening over the over the sponge. And I connect it to the suction area. This is the suction device part portion here. Let's remove this. Let's go down like that. system here. And turn it on. So when you turn it on, it should create a suction. And then now you can see that the sponge is now compressed because all the air has been suctioned out. So this allows the, um, the wound edges to, to reapproximate quicker than just traditional wet to dry dressing changes. And then also removes the drainage, which is what this uh, tubing system does in that container here is. So this will be changed every two or three days by the home health nurse and then he'll come back on a regular basis for just to make sure the wound is healing properly.